In this problem, we're given an arithmetic progression and we're told that the eighth term is twice the fourth term and the twentieth term is 40. We want to find first the first term and the common difference and then for part B, we want to find the sum of terms from the eighth to the twentieth inclusively. So, in this problem, we'll deal with part A first. We're given some information, so let's see if we can extract that. First of all, we are told that the eighth term is equal to twice the fourth term, so in other words, two times U4, and that we are told that the twentieth term, U20, is equal to 40. So for both of these, we're dealing with the nth term expression. So we need to remind ourselves that un is equal to a times m minus 1 times d. And that is the formula that we're going to use. And we need to substitute in. So for u8, we have a plus 8 minus 1, which is 7. So we've got a plus 7d is equal to 2 times a plus 4 minus 1, which is 3, so a plus 3d. If we expand our right hand side, we've got a plus 7d is equal to 2a plus 6d. And if we do a little bit of rearrangement then, if we move the 6d over, we're left with 1d, move the a over, and we end up with the expression d is equal to a, which is going to be really useful to us. So moving on to u20 is equal to 40. Similar idea again, using the nth term, a plus 20 minus 1, 19d, is equal to 40. If we substitute in d is equal to a, we can say that a plus 19, replace the D with A, so 19A is equal to 40. So therefore 20A is equal to 40, and A is equal to 2. Now as D is equal to A, that implies that D must also be equal to 2. So therefore the first term is equal to 2 and the common difference is equal to 2 as well. So both A and D are both equal to 2 in this problem. So that deals with part A. Part B says that the sum of terms, or we're after finding, the sum of terms from the 8th to the 20th inclusively. So we need to think about what this means. Well, first of all, we're looking at the sum, so it's going to be the summation formula. Ultimately, we're going to need to know the sum up to the 20th term, because that's what we're after knowing up to, and it's inclusive. However, we only want to start from the 8th term, so 8th, 9th, 10th, and so on, up to 20. So in other words, we don't care about the first seven terms. And because we don't care about them, we're going to subtract the sum of the first seven terms because it gets rid of them then from the total summation up to the 20th term. So in other words, we're going to use our summation formula twice. But in all instances, our A value and D value are both still two. The only thing that's going to be different for each of these is our n value. So for our summation of 20, we have 20 over 2 times 2 times our a value, which is 2, plus 20 minus 1, which is 19, times our d value, which is 2. Subtract 7 over 2 times 2, times 2, plus 7 minus 1, which is 6, times our d, which is 2. 10, 20 over 2 is 10, 2 times 2 is 4, 19 times 2 is 38, minus 
7 over 2. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 6 times 2, which is 12. 4 plus 38, 42 times 10, 420. 4 plus 12 is 16, times a half is 8, times the minus 7 is minus 56. And if we subtract that away, we're left with 300 and 20, 64. And that becomes our final answer for part B. So the summation of the 20th term minus the 7th term, which is the equivalent of the sum of the terms from the 8th to the 20th inclusively, is 364.